Happy Monday, everybody. It's LaToya Silman here. I uh, just wanted to say hi and to share a message that um, I kind of learned haphazardly yesterday. So I posted about it on my Facebook and my Twitter page, both bearing my name, LaToya Silman. Um, I'm also going to talk about it in a future blog at LaToyaSilman.com. So anyways, um, I got a puppy during this pandemic and she is teaching me a lot, okay? She's teaching me patience. She's teaching me unconditional love and all that good jazz. But yesterday, I um, sat her down to try to get her to go into her new dog house that I bought her. And she was afraid of it. She's afraid of everything. <laughs> Maybe that's why the shelter called her chicken. I changed it to Gigi. But lo and behold, um, she I put a treat in there and she wanted the treat. Oh, she wanted that treat desperately, right? It was written all over her face but she was afraid to go after it. She would run up to it, stare at it, contemplate it, then run back. And each time her fear kept getting the best of her and she would not get this treat to save her dear life. It took literally more than 10 minutes. I stopped recording at one point because I was like, okay, this is taking way too long. Started recording again. Um, but in all, it took about 10 minutes for her to finally get it. She could see it, it was just right there. The thing that she wanted the most but she was letting herself basically psych herself out. And at first I was started recording because I thought, oh my gosh, she's so cute because Gigi is super, super duper precious. But then I started thinking about the fact this is a metaphor for life, right? You wanna lose weight, you wanna get a new career, you want to be a homeowner, you want to learn how to do the splits. I don't know. <laughs> You want to be financially free whatever it is you know you have a goal and you start to you know you see it right there you can envision it being yours it looks great just like that treat did but for whatever reason you're scared to take the next step and the next step and the next step and to ultimately grab it um that's what we do all the time and what I realized as I was watching my dog I mean I read about you know self-help all the time as many of you know but as I was watching her and I was like, wow, how many times have I pulled a Gigi, right? How many times have I been so close to that goal for my weight or for my career or, you know, becoming fluent in Spanish, which I know I talk about way too much. And I let fear get the best of me. I let fear stop me from doing that which I know I want, that which I desire. And, you know, a lot of times we do that because it is easier to just be comfortable in what you know, right? You heard that saying, like, go for what you know. Well, unfortunately, that's what a lot of people do. They go for what they know. But that prize is just beyond the unknown. That's where the growth is. That's where the triumph is. That's where the, the victory and the celebration is. And so I want us to not pull a GG, okay? I want us to not be chicken. I want us to, to start going for it. And every time you think about backing up and you take a couple of steps forward just to take five steps back, I want you to think about Gigi and think, oh my gosh, literally I can see it. And once I get a hold of this treat and get a hold of my fear that is holding me back from that which I want so much in my life, then it will be mine. Literally, nine times out of 10, we're the ones holding ourselves back. So stop holding yourselves back. Stop being a GG. Stop being scared. Stop being chicken. Go for it. Stop being the one that keeps you from being the best you, from being the person that you want to be, from being the one that's living the life that you once only, you know, had as, as just a thought or as a dream, you know, get out of your way. So that's it for today. I don't want to take too much of your time. But um, if you want to get some more motivation, maybe even some more money tips or whatever, all you have to do is go to my blog, LatoyaSilman.com. And um, <laughs> you'll find all that there. I hope this helped you a little bit. Uh, you can also go to my Instagram and my Facebook page, again, Latoya Silman, and you will see the cutest video ever. But then I think it'll take you a little deeper than that. And you'll see, oh my gosh, perhaps I pulled a GG. Hmm. Let's stop doing that. All right. Bye.